So I've been asking myself, why does Satan hate the souls in purgatory? Now there are many things that we know that Satan hates. We know that he hates Jesus. We know that he hates the Blessed Mother. He hates Saint Michael the Archangel. He hates the Rosary. He hates the Mass. He hates holy water. But the souls in purgatory is probably not in your top 10 things that Satan hates. Well, in today's video, I want to talk about why he hates them and what I've learned in the last month. Join me in today's video. And as I like to do often in my videos, let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My friends, this is a channel Uniquely Mary. My name is Alvaro. Please support me with your prayers, many other ways to support me, Patreon, my Etsy shop uh, with this thing called buy me a coffee and especially by watching this video and all my other videos please subscribe and hit the like button. In this last month I have gained over 3,000 subscribers to my channel. So I had about 3,000 that grew to a novena that I did about a year ago uh, ending on December 25th and then in the mo last month alone my channel has doubled because of these videos on purgatory and I have learned in the last month because I have suffered so much at the hand of the devil. My family has gotten sick. We had not the best Thanksgiving. Uh, my wife is taking my baby daughter to the hospital right now because she and my other toddler uh, are both sick, throwing up. So I know that we are under attack and it's been way more than in previous months, especially because of these videos on purgatory. Now I had one, you probably saw the one on the purgatory movie, that one has like 50,000 views, more views than any other video. And so that led me to ask the question, why does Satan hate the souls in purgatory? And I think there's some answers that maybe people really haven't thought about, and one at the very end that I want you to stay here, my real conclusion of why he really hates them. Number one reason and why Satan hates the souls in purgatory is because they are the ones that got it away. Now, Satan, if he has any joy at all, it's by bringing those that God loves into hell. So he derives some sort of satisfaction, I don't know what, by plunging people into hell. And the souls in purgatory are those that barely got away. And we know that somehow God's mercy intervened. That person had some sort of moment where they were able to escape hell, maybe even barely, and they were in purgatory. And Satan hates that because they are a reminder of his failure. Now, a second reason that is sort of connected to that is because they are a symbol of God's mercy. Now, often when we think of purgatory, we think of justice and fire and punishment. But we don't realize that whatever suffering happens in purgatory, whether we know it or not, is so much less than what you would have had in hell. And so, everyone in purgatory would tell you that they experienced God's mercy. And we know that Satan hates God's mercy. All he wants is rigorous justice. He, don't want, he doesn't want any forgiveness. He doesn't want any debt being paid off. He doesn't want any of that. He wants us to be punished to the full extent of the law. He's like a bad lawyer. A third reason why Satan hates the souls in purgatory is because one day they will be souls in heaven. Now, it depends on the time, some in a brief time, maybe as short as 30 minutes, some others as long as several centuries, but every soul in purgatory is saved and eventually will end up in heaven. And we know that those that are in heaven have a, a much increased intercessory power against evil here on earth, so they can affect humans like us for the better, and they can even do that in purgatory. So Satan hates them because everyone in purgatory is a future saint. A fourth reason that people do not often consider why Satan hates the souls in purgatory is for this. Despite the fact that some of them suffer maybe even as intensely as the souls that are condemned in hell, because we, we know that from the revelations of many saints that at the bottom levels of purgatory, it's like another hell. But what's the difference? What's the difference? The difference is hope. They trust and hope in God and they hope and know that one day they will be with God. So this is kind of related to a previous point, something that they hold in their hearts, hope. And that is something that Satan hates because he wants us to despair. 
He wants us to not trust in God. He wants us to think that God is a jerk. He wants us to be hopeless. So hopelessness is, is something born directly from the work of the evil one. Whereas hope is one of the, the three foundational gifts that we receive when we are baptized, faith, hope, and love. Hope is kind of at the center. It's that thing that, that helps us arrive at the things that we haven't seen. It, it relates with love and faith and it kind of puts it into action. And Satan absolutely hates that. The next reason that Satan hates the souls in purgatory, and I want to combine these two traits that the souls in purgatory have and why Satan hates them so much. So one is they are fully repentant. They understand their sins, they see the effects of them, and they are choosing their purgatory. They are choosing the sufferings they want to suffer in purgatory. Now people maybe don't realize that. They want to suffer in purgatory. They are saying, I want to do God's will. I am choosing this. And he does not want us to have that trait. Not only are, there, are the souls in purgatory fully repentant, so they are fully giving in to that command of Jesus, the first thing that he says in the Gospels, repent and be saved. Repent and accept the kingdom of God that is among you. But they are, along with this repentance, unbelievably humble. You will hear in different descriptions that people say about the souls in purgatory whenever they appear to them of how humble they are. And we know that Satan is absolutely pride and he hates humility. That's why he hates St. Joseph. That's why he hates the Blessed Mother. There's even a famous painting that shows Satan with his legs turned backwards, meaning that he cannot kneel because kneeling before God is a sign of humility, something that Satan will never do. Satan will never bow down before God because he is so proud. And the souls in purgatory are so, so humble. And when you hear people describe them seeing them, that's one of the traits that they really, really notice. Okay, now for those of you that stuck to the very end of this video, congratulations, thank you. Remember, please keep supporting me, subscribe, pray for this channel, pray for every, every Catholic and Christian YouTuber. So the final reason why I think Satan hates the souls in purgatory has to do with the end of the world. In a previous video, I spoke about this analogy that J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, was prophetic. He wasn't just an author, he wasn't just a genius who can invent these worlds and all these languages and these amazing things that captivate our imagination. He also foresaw different things in the way he described his story. So at the very end, in the last movie, The Return of the King, before this very final battle, so connect this analogy that I'm making, before this very final battle, it looked like they were lost because the armies of, of Sauron and, and all these evil armies were coming to attack the White City. So they were literally at their very end. They had the, these other troops that came in, all these other things. You, you know, I'm not gonna say all these names because you won't even recognize them. And it seemed like all was lost. And missing from battle this whole time was the king of men, Aragorn, who in this way represents Jesus. And he goes to get another army to come and fight the army that would actually bring in the final victory. And who was that army? It was an army of dead soldiers who had made a promise to a king, not kept it, and were being punished and had to stay in this cave until um, the next king would come with his authority and set them free and release them to, f to do whatever it is that he needed it to do. In this case, Aragorn came to ask them to fight for them. They came, they fought for them, and they won the battle. Now, when I saw that, I knew that that was prophetic. J.R.R. Tolkien, without knowing it, was telling us something about the future, that in the future, which is now, towards the end of times, the only time, the only way that we will win this battle against evil is not through the church on earth. We're not doing so hot, are we? Not through other denominations, not through this, not even by the saints in heaven but through the army of those that are in purgatory. Why? It makes sense that God wants to get his final revenge on the devil by using those that Satan led into sin. So God wants to use those that he led into sin but did not fully capture the souls in purgatory 
against the devil as his final vict victory over them. Think about it. What would be more humiliating for the saints in heaven to have a victory over the devil or for those in purgatory? Yes, you guessed it. Those in purgatory. So they are an army that God wants us to use to defeat the kingdom of Satan in these times. So Jesus told Peter, the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Well, there are three churches, church militant, church triumphant, and church suffering. They are one, they are one part, a third of the church. And I believe that God wants to use them as his final victory against the devil. And the devil knows this. He has an idea. He has an idea that God will use these souls to defeat him, and therefore that's why he hates them. So my friends, I hope this video was inspiring to you. I hope it made you think. I hope it made you grow in your love for the devotion to the holy souls in purgatory. And if you're being attacked because of that devotion, then bring it on. And let's give it back to Satan with courage, attack his kingdom, destroy it with the intercession of the souls in purgatory. God bless you in this month of November. And at whatever time that you're hearing this video, I'll see you in the next one.